Right then, so we're on the second example, example two for the second lesson. So we've got moving with a constant acceleration a, we've got a velocity when time is zero, so that's u, and we've got a speed, a velocity when time's five, so we call that v when time's five. Right, so he wants a speed at time t is zero. So I'm looking at that initial velocity, and my speed, remember, is just the magnitude of the velocity. So that's a two squared, plus a minus five squared, which is root 29, which is, I've just lost my answer, 5.39. second. Part B says, a vector for the acceleration. Right, so what do I know then? So S, not bothered about, U is my two minus five. V, is 710. A is what I want, and T is 5. So if I use V equals U plus AT, so I want the V out, got V. It's A I want. Oops. So what have we got? So I've got 710. It's 2 minus 5 plus A lots of 5. Now I'm going to take that over, so I've got 710 minus 2 minus 5. Uh, so that's going to be 7 take 5, 7 take 2 is 5, 10 minus a minus is a 15. That's equal to 5 lots of the acceleration. And then if I divide through by 5, oops, stay on the page, I've got 1 and 3 for my acceleration. The question actually asks for it, in component form. So let's put it as i plus 3j for the acceleration. Check that, that's perfect. Uh, let's have a look at c. So c says the value of t when p is moving parallel to r. Now when it talks about it moving, we need the velocity because like having its displacement just tells you where it is. Whereas if I'm, say, imagine I grab hold of someone and I drag them across the classroom, we're moving in that certain direction because I've got speed in that direction. It's like another example is imagine a helicopter flying along a parallel road. If it's keeping parallel to it, it's not kind of going up or going down. It's like a flat road. So the velocity in the J direction is nothing, but it has got velocity in the I direction. So we're going to use that idea that if it's moving... parallel to i, its velocity in the j direction is equal to zero. Now to do that, we need an equation in general terms for the velocity. So just need a general for the velocity. So if I use v equals u, plus at, so v would be uh, 2 minus 5, the acceleration we worked out was 1, 3, times t, so my velocity is 2 plus t in the i direction, just checking that out, and then minus 5 plus 3t in the j direction. So if I set the j component equal to 0, because it's not going up or down. I've got minus 5 plus 3t is equal to 0. You're all right, mate. You can come in if you want. Hold on a minute. Uh, take the 5 over and divide 3 by 3. There. So that gives me a time of 5 over 3 seconds. Just some more examples, but we'll stop there. Okay.